My name is Amber Coe. I am here with Lucky. Hi, baby. I'm here with my service dog, Lucky. Um, and I am sitting on my combat flip-flops in Beaverton, Oregon to say, my name is Amber Coe and I will not abide a traitor. No, let me say, I don't want to sound too aggressive. I cannot abide, I cannot in good conscience abide a traitor in the position of commander in chief. We swore, we swore, huh? We swore an oath. We swore an oath. We swore an oath. We swore an oath, enemies foreign and domestic, okay? We swore an oath to fucking stand by the uniform, even when it was hard, especially when it was hard. And I've been loyal to the uniform long before I fucking put it on. We swore an oath to stand loyal to the uniform, especially when it got hard. And we cannot in good conscience keep that oath unbroken as a blue falcon ascends to commander-in-chief. You, we, you, mm. If she is elected, every American service member, past, present, or future, and everyone that has loved them are a traitor by association because we cannot swear to keep her word even when it's hard. And for the uniform to lack that is to lack everything. I do not love the flag if I do not love the uniform. The only reason I love the flag is because of the uniform. Truth be told, I'd rather be Canadian, but I served! Hello. He's a big flirt. I know you are. You're big and flirt man. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. Hello. 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 I think he knows he's pretty, though. That's a little bit of that. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. He is a sweetheart, though. His is He has a very wonderful soul. That doesn't necessarily negate the... Uh... Oh, well, exactly. You know, it's just confidence. Have a good day, ma'am. <sighs> Here's my pretty little boy. I love you, I love you. I love you. I make jokes, uh, I make jokes to the ladies not to give them their numbers because he's not going to text. He loves love, though, and I love him for it. He is my baby. I also make jokes. I know where he sleeps at night. It's much better than the jokes I used to make, especially the first year after uh, my ex, West Point Infantry Officer, Black Horse, Combat Veteran X, beat me to death. The first year I would make, well, I still occasionally make the jokes. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. But the first year especially, ooh, people did not think that was funny. Like, come on, guys, I gotta laugh. You're gonna fucking make me cry. He is my pretty boy. My beautiful, sweet, innocent, kind, caring, and loyal. I'm a shot in, y'all. Straight up, motherfuck. August 21st, 2013, just over three years ago, my combat veteran ex and I were on a romantic vacation when I was prepared for a proposal, but instead he beat me to death. My neck was broken in three places, my jaw was broken in two, my forehead shattered a snowfall metal plates, my brain busted in five places, and I died twice and I had to have deep brain surgeries, including a partial lobotomy of the right frontal lobe. Um, I spent three months in a coma, 
Um... I do remember the other side. I died and I went to hell. And the reason I was sent to hell was because I didn't believe I deserved heaven. My punishment was to my penance, my, my honor. My honor is to come back, be an absolute living miracle of the creator Religions to each their own. I personally don't like spicy food, but, you know, whatever. Message from the creator is, you're missing the point. Um, dot, dot, dot. And I am here to live by example, just as I have always done, but this time I do so fearlessly. And loyally. I gave grace until I had none left, and he thought it was funny to break his last promise to me I will allow him to make. I call Blue Falcon, and we do not serve your kind here. And if you believe an American service member should not brutally beat their lover to death because it is disloyal, not because I'm a woman. I've never identified with uh, apparently race or gender. Yeah, brain damage has been a real interesting thing for me to have to try and learn and grow through. Whew, questioned everything. I apparently have never identified with race or gender. My anger with him is his disloyalty. And he broke every promise. And if I call Blue Falcon, and it bothers you that one of our own would do that to one of our own? Then how can you allow a traitor to desecrate the position of Commander-in-Chief? Soiling the uniform for everything that it has ever meant and ending everything it ever could. I call Blue Falcon and we do not serve your kind here, ma'am.